Welcome everyone to this section of the course covering the Pandas Data Analysis Library for Python. Personally, this is one of my absolute favorite libraries in Python, and once you become very skilled with Pandas, which you will be at the end of this section, then you're going to have a huge level up in your skills, especially when it comes to analyzing data and organizing data. So let's quickly review our machine learning pathway that we discussed at the very start of the course and see where we're actually falling along this pathway. So recall that if we're trying to perform some data analysis, we collect it and store the data, clean and organized it, perform some EDA or exploratory data analysis, and then basically reported or visualized or communicated that data analysis. Or if we had to jump to a machine learning model to create a data product, then after the EDA, we created that machine learning model and then created a data product from it. So right now, we're essentially in the phase of cleaning and organizing our data and performing exploratory data analysis. And this is where the Pandas library is going to come into play. Pandas is an open source library for data analysis for Python. And it uses an extremely powerful table object called a data frame system, which is built directly off of NumPy. So it's extremely computationally efficient. And it's one of the main reasons that we were actually learning about NumPy in the previous section of the course, is so that a lot of those ideas can stick with us as we begin to learn about Pandas. The other thing I want to note about Pandas right off the bat is it has absolutely fantastic documentation. And you can click on this link in the slides or just Google search Pandas documentation, and it should take you to the online documentation, which is really good looking and very explanatory. So absolutely fantastic documentation. You can never underestimate how good and how important that is when you're learning a library. All right, so what are the things we can actually do with Pandas and why would we want to use Pandas instead of just opening up something like an Excel spreadsheet or a Google spreadsheet? Well, Pandas comes built in with tools for reading and writing data between a wide variety of formats. Not only can it read things like CSV files or Excel files, but it can actually connect directly to a larger SQL database and read and write data to that SQL database. Or, and we'll see this later on, it can actually read HTML tables directly off a website. So it's super useful and has tons of tools for reading and writing data between a wide variety of formats. So if your coworkers are using some other data analysis tool, there's a high likelihood that pandas can actually read in that data and write to that same format as before. And what's awesome about pandas is it can intelligently grab data based on things like indexing, logic, conditional subsetting, and more, which we're gonna cover later on in this section. It's also able to easily handle missing data and adjust and restructure data. Often people refer to pandas as kind of Excel for Python, but it's really so much more than that. Um, basically, there's gonna be larger files when you're working with data science and machine learning that you're not gonna be able to open in a spreadsheet due to the limitations of that software. However, pandas, when it comes to actually working with it, it's really only limited by how much RAM your computer has. And RAM, as we know, is getting cheaper and cheaper. So you're gonna be able to open up really large files with pandas and quickly perform analysis on them since it's all happening in memory in your RAM. So what are we actually gonna cover in this section of the course? We'll talk about series and data frames, the two main objects we work with when we're discussing pandas. And then we'll start actually discussing how to work with data frames and series, whether it's things like conditional filtering and useful methods to perform on a data frame, how to deal with missing data, group by operations, so essentially aggregating data as necessary, how to combine data frames in case you have to read different data sources and then combine them. And then we'll also talk about things like specialized text methods and time methods available in Python and pandas. And finally, we'll talk about how to input and output data with pandas. So I'm super excited to get started. Keep in mind, Pandas is gonna be able to do a lot, lot more than what we cover. We could make a whole course on Pandas. Personally, it's one of my favorite libraries, but I would highly suggest you explore the documentation in order to see everything that Pandas can do. We're gonna cover a lot of the most useful aspects of Pandas here. So hopefully after this section, you feel like a Pandas pro. Okay, let's get started. I'll see you in the next lecture.